Understanding the avocado ripening process is critical for wholesale and ripening staff, as ripeness determines the storage and handling requirements of the fruit. Ripening can be a complex process, so the following information is designed to help you operate a ripening room and manage fruit, both before and after ripening. Upon delivery of a consignment, a receival assessment should be undertaken. This includes identifying the consignment, checking fruit temperature, and taking samples to assess fruit quality and ripeness. This allows you to confirm whether the consignment meets your specifications and will also help you plan your ripening schedule. It's also important to know the history of the consignment, including where it came from, its maturity, when it was harvested and packed, and how it was transported. Each of these things can influence how the fruit will respond to various ripening treatments. The amount of time that fruit can be stored before ripening is dependent on its age, pulp temperature, and whether any fruit have started to ripen. As a general rule, you can store early and mid-season avocados for a maximum of 14 days before ripening, as long as they are hard green and were pre-cooled and packed in the last five days. Do not store late season fruit for more than five days before ripening. It's important that fruit stored or transported prior to ripening is held at the correct temperature according to the variety. Hass should be stored at five degrees Celsius, while Shepherd and other green skin varieties should be stored at seven degrees Celsius. It's important to check fruit condition and record the total time in storage every day. Fruit that starts showing signs of ripening during pre-ripening storage needs to be removed immediately as it can develop grain or browning flesh. When fruit is ready to ripen, it's placed into a ripening room. A ripening room provides reliable control over temperature, humidity, injection of ethylene gas and venting. Early season or less mature fruit with a dry matter of less than 26% should be ripened at a room temperature of 18 to 20 degrees Celsius with ethylene for two to three days. Mid to late season fruit with a dry matter of 26% or higher should be ripened at 16 to 20 degrees Celsius with ethylene for one to two days. If there's a high risk of fruit rot in either early or late season fruit, ripen it at a lower temperature of between 16 and 18 degrees Celsius. Ripening rooms need to maintain a relative humidity above 85%. Ensure that pallets are stacked to maximise airflow. If airflow is uneven throughout the layers or pallets, ripening will also be uneven. Adding ethylene to ripening rooms accelerates the ripening process in avocados. It's very important to allow fruit to reach the required ripening temperature before injecting ethylene. This process can take up to two to three days for less mature early season fruit and one to two days for more mature mid to late season fruit. There are four main systems for injecting ethylene gas into ripening rooms. These include shot injection, catalytic generation, trickle injection, and controlled monitoring. Ripening staff should know which of these systems is in place and understand correct procedures for its operation. It's important to monitor fruit temperature and also to check fruit at least daily to see whether they have started to ripen. Once the avocados have started to ripen, they should be removed from the ripening room. It's also important to regularly monitor ripening room conditions, including temperature, ethylene, and carbon dioxide levels to ensure optimal ripening conditions are maintained. There are health and safety considerations related to ethylene use and the natural buildup of carbon dioxide in ripening rooms. So speak to a supervisor about these and follow all safety procedures to mitigate any risks. If fruit is not required for dispatch immediately, it can be stored for three to seven days after being removed from the ripening room. The maximum storage time is dependent on the variety, the ripeness level of the fruit, and the temperature at which it is stored. Storage temperature should ideally be five to seven degrees Celsius for Hass, 
and 6 to 8 degrees Celsius for green skin varieties such as Shepherd. Understanding the factors that influence ripening in avocados will help you supply your buyers with consistently good quality fruit at specified levels of ripeness. For more details on ripening and storage, see the Avocado Ripening Manual and other training resources available on the Avocados Australia Best Practice resource or contact Avocados Australia directly.